to create the unknown is a process that begins when you're out in the landscape. It's late at night and you are leaving your physical body and you fly with your energy double to the highest realm you can and the shaman brother who is with you says that distant star is your family remember that or you'll never come back and as you fly out further and further you realize that the whole world is made of atmosphere and when you come back even the solid rocks you can put your hands inside with the atmosphere and you find out that there has to be a way as an artist to depict this in an organic sense so you begin the search for how to create the image that you saw with your energy double out on the land and eventually you arrive at the light panels and the scrims. This houses my paddleboard books, graphic novels, and this is the czar that I used to create many of the All Orange Multimedia music projects with Twilight Wild. Here's a shamanistic depiction mm -hmm. of the body. Getting the carvings of all the boxes. There's also a shamanistic tradition of furniture making here, which has this piece as shamanistic furniture. This is a picture of a torso in the landscape undergoing a ritual that was done with um, colored sand. I used it there. But come, come into the, say, hidden grotto for a moment, please. What you see that when you are creating from the unknown, you are working to, to create portals, so to speak, for the viewers. So this is the portal of the owl. This represents the unknown altar, actually, and all of the accoutrements involved with discussions with the owl, questioning the owl for answers. In front of the owl is the disc with the various warriors all depicting their positions, north, south, east, and west, on the floating disc altar. Infinity is often represented by the red grid, and the red grid was carved on this board with two guardians on each side. You can see that the red grid is the main atmospheric luminosity around the earth. And this is a depiction of it with the guardians carved out of wood. Above is the shaman with his sacred objects activating the organ within him and arriving at the point where his energy field leaves his body and he begins the conception of new worlds. And those are the conceptions happening over there. I'll show you one of my first um, light panels and it has great significance for me. This light panel here incorporates a painted surface with the shaman shape in the middle and those are bones found out on the land. Here's one of the first paintings I did as a young man. I wasn't involved with atmosphere or tech. I didn't know exactly what that was, but I certainly was involved with the thick nature of oil painting. And that's a still life of magical objects that I used in my theater. As things progressed, as I got involved with the, the landscape, and this is a picture of a bear ritual that we did out on the land, and the column of energy that shot into the heavens that evening while the warriors were intending. So this is a room of magical memories for me in different parts of my life. 
but the thread that combines them all is a thread of beauty, the thread of seeing, and the development of how I would depict the unknown.